So in front of me here, I have the Samson G Track Pro. This is Samson's new USB microphone, so you don't need an external audio interface to plug this into your computer. This just goes straight in USB. And this is their attempt to come out with a microphone to compete with the Blue Yeti. This guy right here, this is pretty much the standard in USB microphones for kind of the $125-ish price point. And even some of Samson's advertising is talking about how this is the Yeti killer. So we're going to review the Samson G Mic Pro here. I'm going to play some acoustic guitar through it to see uh, what it sounds like and get your opinion of what it sounds like. And in this video, we're just going to be really talking about the Samson G track. In another video, we'll do a comparison directly between the G track and the blue. But I'll also put in the description below a video I have that I played very similar acoustic guitar on the blue. So after you hear this one, you could just flip over there and hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to record this whole video on the Samson G track Pro. The really important thing here is that you understand how this mic sounds because at the end of the day, a mic can have a ton of features and all sorts of neat stuff but if it doesn't sound good then you know it's probably not worth a mic worth getting So Samson reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked me if I would do a review of the G-Track Pro and I was really intrigued by this microphone so I told them I would so I'm not getting paid to do this review, but they did send me this mic as a promo. So just want to get that out on the table to start. Now, the G-Track Pro was pretty impressive when I opened it. It's heavy-duty metal enclosure. It's really heavy. It's actually heavier, I think, than what the Yeti is. And it does come with quite a few features that the Yeti does not have. Now, features are cool to have. It's the sound of the microphone that really matters in most cases. But let's go over some of those features that the G-Track Pro has. First off, it has three different polar patterns. So it has Omni, Cardioid, and Figure 8 polar patterns, which is pretty cool. The Figure eight's nice because you could easily use this to do an interview uh, with one person on each side of the microphone and just a single plugged in with the USB. So that's nice. And obviously the Omni is nice if you're trying to record a whole band or a whole room. The other cool thing that the Samson has, it actually has a switch to be able to go into your computer either mono or or with two inputs, so that's kind of nice. You can have kind of a left and a right channel. The other thing the Samson has that the Yeti doesn't have, it actually has an input for a quarter inch jack. So that means you can have your voice and you can have a guitar or a bass plugged directly into the back of this microphone and be recording guitar and vocals at the same time. So that is really a neat feature, especially for singer songwriters out there. You could take this with you. You can go in a hotel room or even in your, in your house Plug this thing in, plug your guitar into the mic, have voice and guitar recording at the same time. So that is a really cool feature on this Samson. On the front, you also have three different volume knobs. You have a master volume, an instrument volume, and a mic volume. So you can mix those instruments 
and the microphone volume uh, to make sure it's going into your recording software at levels that you like it. In addition to that, there is a mute switch that instantly mutes the microphone. And finally, to kind of round out the package of a single mic being able to record guitar and vocal, there's actually a monitor out also. You can turn that monitor on and off. So you could essentially have a pair of headphones in plugged into the back of this microphone monitoring what you're doing. You can have your guitar plugged in, your voice being recorded from the mic. You can have, it's all, it's kind of an all-in-one little recording system for a singer-songwriter. So kind of some neat specs around this microphone. The Samson also comes with a nice sturdy desktop stand that I actually like a lot better than the Yeti. With the Yeti, you have to screw the stand kind of into the sides of the microphone. This stand, the Samson just sits in it. You screw it in, no big deal. It's much easier to get in and out than on the Yeti. So that is definitely a plus for the Samson here. And with that, you've heard throughout this video what this mic sounds like on my voice, as well as what it sounds like on the guitar. I'd love to hear your comments on what you think about this microphone. And if you want to check it out, I will put a link in the description below. I'm B-Side, and we'll talk to you next time.